The parable of the unjust judge and the widow is perhaps the least understood of the parables of Jesus. And I hope that my words do not add to that. Let me try to explain what Jesus must have meant when he told this story to his listeners. When you first read the parable, it sounds like an exhortation to pray always and to not lose heart. Great advice, but I don't think it's the original meaning of the parable. Look at the parable. The widow, the outraged widow, is not presented to us as virtuous or even having a just cause. The judge is obviously not impartial or objective. So question, how can the kingdom of God be similar to anything in this rather scandalous situation? If a judge were a professional crook, it would not be so bad. But a judge is supposed to be a decent person who does justice to people. The fact is that this judge is a wretched man, but the widow keeps knocking. So look at this story in contemporary perspective. There is a judge who is supposed to decide a difficult insurance case. The plaintiff, a widow, who is destitute, sends him two or three letters a day, makes innumerable phone calls, leaves endless voicemails, emails him on the hour, sends faxes, and has her friends calling in daily to recommend her case and demanding justice. When he tries to leave his house or his place of work, she accosts him. She plants people in his path who get him messages about the widow. Sir, please help this widow. Listen to her. So finally, the judge cannot stand her nagging anymore or the people bothering him, and even without considering the merits of the case, decides to give her all that she wants. At the end of the parable, as Jesus is so good at doing, he leaves his listeners kind of scratching their heads. Well, what is this parable all about? With whom do the listeners identify in the parable? Nobody wants to see himself or herself as the unjust judge. So with whom can they identify? And what an insult to God. To think of God as the unjust judge. And then you as the widow begging for whatever you want. Though in the way the parable is commonly understood or explained, that's where it ends up. I'm the widow begging God for this and this and this. And finally, he gives in and gives me what I want. But what a poor understanding of God. So in all the parables, the listeners are supposed to identify with someone. The parables are mirrors in which we are invited to look at ourselves. So who are you in the parable? Actually, you are the unjust judge. The widow represents the kingdom of God, grace that is constantly banging on our door, morning, noon, and night, pleading, do me justice. Or more specifically, how about spending some time with me in prayer? How about forgiving your enemy? How about seeking reconciliation with those members in your family you're at odds with? How about helping someone in need? Or even, why don't you accept the dark side of your personality? Take note of those feelings that hinder your relationships, your efforts to forgive and not to judge. Where are these feelings coming from? Why do you keep excluding certain kinds of people from your life? These are the things that the divine widow has in mind when she pleads, do me justice. In other words, the kingdom of God saying to us, be compassionate as your heavenly father is compassionate. So the divine widow keeps pounding on the door of our hearts day after day as we try to put her off. That means the kingdom of God is pounding on the door of your life day after day and we keep putting off the kingdom of God. If modern forms of communication can be overwhelming, wait until you encounter how many ways of communicating God can come up with. God approaches us all day long. 
comes to us in the morning, noon, and night through people, through events, through feelings, through our own thoughts, memories, reactions, failings, even our sins, God is constantly coming into our lives. So we accept the kingdom finally, not because we are just, or even less because we have earned it, or because we deserve it, but because at some point, like the unjust judge, we can't stand God's grace nagging at us for one more moment, and we just give up. Like the unjust judge, we can't take it anymore, and we say, okay, okay, take my life, have your way with me, I'm in your hands. This is the point of the parable. The divine widow is God, the kingdom of God, knocking on the door of your life or the door of your heart 24-7, as they say today. Eventually, we can't take it anymore. We all just give in to God. It's just a matter of time.